Before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 33. Humiliation of the soul always brings a positive blessing with it. If we empty our hearts of self, God will fill them with his love. He who desires close communion with Christ should remember the word of the Lord. On this one will I look. On him who is poor and of a contrite spirit, and who trembles at my word. So, stoop, if you would climb to heaven. Do we not say of Jesus, he who descended, is also the one who ascended? So must you. You must grow downwards, so that you may grow upwards. For the sweetest fellowship with heaven is to be had by humble souls, and by them alone. God will deny no blessing to a thoroughly humbled spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, with all its riches and treasures. The whole exchequer of God will be made over by deed of gift to the soul, that is humble enough to be able to receive it without growing proud because of it. God blesses us all up to the full measure and extremity of what it is safe for him to do. If you do not get a blessing, it is because it is not safe for you to have one. If our Heavenly Father were to let your unhumbled spirit win a victory in his holy war, you would pocket the crown for yourself, and meeting with a fresh enemy, you would fall as a victim, so you are kept low for your own safety. When a man is sincerely humble, and never ventures to touch so much as a grain of the praise, there is hardly any limit to what God will do for him. Humility makes us ready to be blessed by the God of all grace, and fits us to deal efficiently with our fellow men. True humility is a flower that will adorn any garden. This is a source with which you may season every dish of life, and you will find an improvement in every case. Whether it is prayer or praise, whether it is work or suffering, the genuine salt of humility cannot be used in excess. Amen. Thank you.